Hey, what's up, Ratchet Drivers? It's your buddy Adam online. I'm at my home in Utah right now and up late doing some reading here. So I've got some great books and I want to give you guys a secret uh, from my rideshare experience when I was working in Los Angeles as an Uber and a Lyft driver. I did it for three over three and a half years now and I'm doing a lot of recruiting and giving strategies and tips online. So I'm here to help you guys out. And this is a really simple thing, but a lot of people won't do it. But if you do do it, you can and I did this twice. Um, the second time around, I, I probably shouldn't have done it. And anyhow, here's what it is. When you start making more money with uh, your rideshare business, Uber, Lyft, whatever it is, companies out there right now, um, obviously your car is like an asset or a liability. If it's taking money out of your pocket, just gas and expenses, it's a liability. But if you're using it to make money, it's an asset in a way. So it's kind of both. So anyhow, if you're, you got to be careful, you got to be tricky. I met a guy that was renting a car for like $60 a day with hire car. That wasn't such a good idea. Um, and that's just an aside. But the main thing I want to tell you is you should be making double or triple your payments on your car so you can pay it off faster. Then you have all that money as a tax deduction for your current tax year. And maybe you have a different strategy worked out where you just make the minimum payments. You want to do it that way. For me, I like to go fast. So I paid off my car, my Prius, in less than two years. Um, I was the third owner. It was a 2009, and I bought it like in 2011, uh, excuse me, 2014. And um, that was actually a pretty good decision because the Prius was much more fuel efficient than the SUV that I started with. And um, the Priuses almost never break down. But the point of it is, is when you're making double and triple your payments on your vehicle, uh, something interesting happens. You increase your tax deductions because that vehicle is your primary tool for the rideshare business. I mean, it's not like, you know, any other job, uh, really. Like, anyhow, um, so this is your primary tool for your business. And when you're making double and triple your payments, you reduce the amount of interest you're paying to the bank or the loan company. You're reducing that over the lifetime of your loan. So, you put more money in your pocket that way and you're paying off your business um, expense faster. So now what do you do when your car is all paid for? Well, let's say it takes you about four years. That's kind of a magic number like for Lyft, right? Because Lyft pays the, the power driver bonus or they were paying it. Just trust me on this. Don't have a rideshare vehicle that's more than four years old if you can avoid it. Um, they're paying a tra tra power driver bonus. That's extra money you have just for having a car that's not more than four years old. Now, I don't know if Lyft is still doing that when you watch this video. Uber might have a similar program. But doesn't it feel nice to be in a new car anyways or a newer car? So watch, um, post a couple of videos up here. Um, I'm going to post a link for the um, how you can get a car from Enterprise dealership. So that's a pretty killer secret. You can buy from them instead of going to a regular dealership. Um, basically, Toyota... Forward, all the major dealerships they have larger selection but there's going to be a bigger spread on the commission you pay unless you're a really good negotiator an enterprise rent a car they'll sell you a vehicle for not next to nothing but they'll sell you a vehicle for a lot cheaper than you would what you get at a dealership because they don't have a commission to earn they're just selling off old rental inventory all right so you can watch that video up above i'll post another link here and this is for my um I'm calling it Max Rideshare Profits Program for a long time, but I think I'm going to change it to Rideshare Strategies Program. So either way, you can watch the teaser for that program. And this video, I'm going to make public for a while. I'll probably put this video into the Max RSP or Rideshare Strategies Program at a later time. So uh, thanks for watching. If I helped you out as a rideshare driver, please subscribe. Or maybe just like my intellect, you like my style, go ahead and subscribe. Have a great day. Actually, no. Make it a great day, wherever you are. Thanks. Peace.